What's up Goonies? Welcome to another PUBG Mobile slash Metro Royale video. And in today's video guys, we're carrying on in the Spawn Points Matter series. Uh, today we're going to be covering Rozhawk Bridge. And I'm going to give you a couple of strategies that we can use from that spawn point. So with that being said, let's get into it. But there's also one more thing. There's going to be a giveaway, a full steel front set. You heard me right. Helmet, armor, MK, uh, AWM, and a backpack. Of course, the backpack's not really steel front, but everything else is steel front. And you'll just have to follow the instructions in the comments. With that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, goodies, this is the Roz Hawk Bridge spawn. And this is the number two spawn point, number two best spawn point in Metro Royale. Riverside is the best spawn point in the game. And why is that? Because it has the fastest path to Rad Zone. And Rad Zone is where your most expensive loot is. Uh, so, with that being said, what are the strategies? Obviously, from this spawn point, you're going to try to push Rad Zone. That's the, that's the, one of the strategies. However, it is risky because you're behind the Riverside spawn. The other problem is this spawn point is located in between Vehicle Yard and Crash Site, and you will get engaged sometimes from teams from that area, especially if you slow down. And as you see right here, uh, we heard some bots shooting, and we had to decide whether to engage that team, which would put us at risk for another team coming from Crash Site to hit us from the flank, or if we just try to continue what our plan was and to push Rad Zone. So I think we, init we, we stopped here for a moment, uh, we gathered our wits about us, and we decided to push Rad Zone. However, remember, we are um, we are go we are like really messed up for time now. We didn't push straight there, and as you heard, I said we cannot take Rad now. Um, that just means uh, that we're not going to be right on the heels of the team coming from Riverside, which you will be if you go straight there. So you're going to have a fight. And you're going to be in a disadvantage because you'll be in this tunnel entrance that I'm about to go down, which is very susceptible to noob tubes. However, if you if you get there in time, you can actually catch these people on the cart going down to Rad Zone, and you can ambush them on the cart, which is a great thing to do. Um, but uh, we are we are going to head for a, a little surprise here because the Riverside team decided to ambush. And you'll see this. Now, this is where this is the tunnel that people normally molly. Uh, it's also a good place to, to get blown up by 203s or noob tubes. Uh, but right here, as you'll see, as I cross, hear that? And you heard my <laughs> my uh, language. Sorry about that. Watch my profanity. But right here, my team ends up taking out the, uh, the guy that was trying to ambush us, I think. Or maybe not. No, no, no. My team has not. I'm going to get involved here and see if I can't get him. And I think, oh, I see him right now. He's shooting at me from the cart. And I'm going to get him right here. There we go. So uh, that was the Riverside team, I think, that set up that ambush, or at least part of them. Uh, but that was an Insta, so it was definitely them. So right here, we're, we're kind of late, but as you see, the carts are here. And I'm going to throw a smoke. Always do this, guys, when you're taking the cart. Throw a smoke down the tunnel. That'll give you a little bit of time because this is a long tunnel. So you don't want to be shot on the cart and the farther you go down that tunnel you'll go out of uh, render distance and you'll be fine so as you see here we made it to rad zone we took out the riverside team which was only two guys um and we're just looting so this is a very successful strategy for this uh, particular spawn point however i got another one for you that you're going to really like but as you see here we're just getting our little loot up and we're gonna we're gonna leave here uh, very wealthy if we make it out now that's the thing that's kind of dangerous about this um, about going to Rad because once you get to Rad, you're kind of locked in, and if map glitchers, uh, you know, glitch out of the map and get on the cliff, on the cliff, it puts you um, kind of at a disadvantage because they can see clearly when you have all this fog. But we made it through, as you see here, and we are pushing back down into the tunnels, and a lot of times there's teams waiting in ambush here again. Uh, which this is really risky. The whole operation here is risky, but that's the game Metro, right? That's what we play. 
So right here, we're just looking around, seeing if we see anybody. It looks good. But as you see here, look at my time. Where's the game time? Okay, so we're at eight minutes. Uh, that's another part of the rad zone strategy that I wanted to talk about. We usually stay to around eight minutes left or so before we evac because a lot of the teams have already evac by then. So that's just a, a, a note for you guys. Um, you know, use that strategy. It'll be a lot more successful. As you see, I got 618,000. Not a great haul, actually, for rad zone, but not bad. So we, we got her done. Now... This is another strategy that you can use. This is strategy number two, uh, and this is actually pushing vehicle yard. There's going to be a team coming from vehicle yard here. This is really risky because there are, um, you know, counter counter strategies for this, and teams are starting to get really smart to this. But this used to be a way that I really collected a lot of gear. But I recommend you not go past this wall, which I just did, because if they go towards barracks. They're going to be able to shoot straight across, and I'm looking northwest, and I'm not necessarily looking to my east, which is where they'll be. And they'll go down below uh, the ridge down there, and they'll cross over, and then I won't see them, and then they can smash me uh, quite easily from there. So this is, this is risky. I, I recommend you stay on that corner. Now, with this one happening here, this particular instance, uh, my teammate has caught two. And I take out the last guy. He was in trouble, and, and uh, I think AWM took the first guy out. And we were able to pinch him. It was only a duo. But as you see, this strategy does pay off in gear. But but remember, like I said, it is risky. If the team is savvy enough, they will go towards barracks. They'll, they'll wide left flank you, and they will engage you. So that is the thing. This is strategy, like I said, strategy number two. Got a good payday there. Got me some gear. Everybody loves level six gear. That's how you get it. That is the best spawn point for gear. Right there. That one. Now, let's take a look again. And here we are again with another one of these attacks. Um, and this one's going to go south a little bit. I, I had to include this so you guys will know the realistic nature of this uh, particular strategy and how dangerous it actually is. Now, right here, I'm zoomed in, and I'm waiting for my victims. I'm waiting for that level 6 gear. I wanted to collect me yet another gear set. And right here, the team actually attacks us, and I am caught off guard. And, guys, I'm, I'm crawling around. It ain't looking good. But watch this team. This team is actually pretty cool because they don't thirst me right away. I stop moving because if you're moving away, they will thirst you. And this guy decides to come over here and say hello. I don't know who you are, man, but... Thank you for not thirsting me. I appreciate that. Now, my team is starting to go down. Their team's starting to go down. Unfortunately, I can't see the fight. Uh, but this one is going to come down to Goat. He is by himself, and there's one more member of their team up. And Goat and him engage each other, and Goat clutches the victory. But that is how dangerous uh, this particular strategy is. So, uh, also remember, Crash Sight can push you if they hear these shots. So, you will have a third party come in uh from barrack side so you have to be very careful here this is a risky strategy but when you get people killed it pays off well but that's really pretty much the two strategies now after that if you're not looted properly if your team needs more loot um i would recommend that you go you know go to school um or base uh you could go to Roshock. you could kill the boss again they're going to be dead by the time you eventually make it there but you can go to these places and get loot. That's what we do. We try to kill the boss, and then we uh, we try to engage. But right here, there's another team here. And, uh, guys, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, in this engagement, I do these guys dirty. And uh, it's just dirty. And I've told you guys that GLs or noob tubes are your most OP weapon. And when I go play Rad Zone, or Map 3, rather, I always carry a noob tube. I don't carry my AWM, but on map two, I carry a tube here because it's more versatile and I can use it in lots of different locations or lots of different situations. I have no idea what that music's all about. I think it's, uh, I don't know. I got to work on that. It, it's, it's happening a lot. But right here, as you see, these guys have hid inside of that thing. And right here, this second tube, I, I think I might have got a knock right there. There's the knock, and as you'll see right here, Copenhagen's going to go in, and I'll get the kills. Oh, he he said, threw a I grenade, but I killed him because I had him knocked. So that's how deadly the noob tube is, guys. 
So, hey, those are the two strategies for Razak Bridge Spawn. I hope you guys enjoy that. Now, you guys, when you spawn there, you have direct plans that you can utilize or strategies uh, that will help you be more successful. As you see here, I got paid once again. Uh, with a beautiful gear set. So I hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, smash like on the video and definitely get in my comments, guys. Join the conversation in my Discord community, Goon Goonies Gaming Hub. And uh, also, guys, with this video, there will be a giveaway. Look into the details of the description below and you'll find out the information on the giveaway. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I am out of here. Marked an enemy's death crate. Here's, here's one's up there. I don't know which one's mine and which one's yours, man. I have hey, hey, look, come here, come here, come here, come here. Um, I'm here, I'm here with you. I'm here. Yeah, with come you. here. Uh, so go, come here, go. First of all, come here and get this helmet. Uh, there's a helmet here. You take it back. I've got one now. Um. Also, I'm gonna get this refined Groza. Pick it up. Uh, take. Hold on one second. Let me take my noob tube off. Don't don't grab this noob tube, please. Um. By accident. Let me take this. Yeah, go. Uh, go. Yeah, or uh, um, cope. Come get this backpack. Okay. There's a backpack here right, and the, the, the level four vest. Come, come get that, somebody. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm gonna grab the high explosives. I'm gonna drop my polished, and I'm gonna grab these high explosives. Dude, um, you know there's still a level. Dude, there's still a level six and a steel front. Oh my god, bro. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I'll take the steel front G36. Five. Level five. Okay. I'm going to take that one. Because I could put my noob tube on it, right? Won't I? Right, right. All right. Yeah, the G36 takes okay. it. All right. Smart shots, smart shots. What? And you shots. want me to take the one-eyed Cobra? Uh, yeah, you take, you take the the one-eyed Cobra. Um. Yeah, you yeah. You that refined Groza, by the way. Yeah, I know, but I've got a steel front. Um... Hey, go. I'm going to need help. I have shots. Yeah, you... uh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Where they at? Where they at? No, me. There's so many shots. Did you get him? Did you get him a Nomi? No, 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 no. I think there's oh. one knock. Shh. 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 Hey, click. The boss. I guess shoot somebody. That's not the boss. I know. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going with a gun. They're they're here. I got um, two. Hey, go be careful. You're gonna be. Flex low. Get up there, no. I'm, yeah, I'm trying. Where's he at, goat? I'm pushing him right now. Oh. Oh no. 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 Push this motherfucker. He's not. Get goat. They're, they're dead, dead, they're, they're dead. dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Uh, I knocked okay. in there with that. You got your Bluetooth on? No. No? No. My phone got super fucking hot, and I started lagging like a Well, it's not, it's a tablet. I'm on a tablet. Yeah, I know, I was saying my, I was saying my yeah, did. Yeah, my yeah, did yeah, just, you know, gotcha. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, what? Oh, nigga, turn it up. Better nigga, bring it back. Dollar, turn it up. Better nigga, bring it back. Dollar, nigga, turn it up. Better nigga, bring it back. Tell them play the shit again. Tell them what you like.